Good morning and how is everybody doing and welcome back to the channel. The other day we were talking about the evolution saw that uh, I have and today I just wanted to do um, some cutting with it, do some comparison with the saw and the abrasive saw and then also I have my four and a half inch angle grinder over there too. Um, we can see and get some comparisons as far as you know how fast that cuts compared to the other two. Um, <clears throat> I do have a bunch of square tubing here and then here's some pieces left from my um, uh, transmission jack that I made out of the motorcycle jack. Uh, for tires and stuff, I did go out to Harbor Freight and picked up some of these casters. These are going to be locking on all four corners. Um, I do want it to roll around because I think I'm going to put it in this area over here where my trash can is and then I just need to find someplace else to put my trash can. I may move my welder over under here, kind of running that way possibly, I don't know. I just, I'm running out of room. Um, you know, we are kind of looking for a place to go, but we just haven't found anything in our price range that fits the criteria of what we want for a house and either has enough yard for me to have it build a shop or has a shop. I have tossed around the idea of adding, you know, 30 foot to the back of my garage and then, you know, width wise from side to side is 20 foot. So it would give me 20 by 30 you know, out the back side of the garage. My rafters and stuff do run this way. So basically, you know, I would just be tying on to this side of the garage and going back 30 foot. So it wouldn't be a really big deal to do. Um, probably the most cost would be in the concrete, but you know, it's just something I'm thinking about because I do need more space. I mean, as you look around, um, I am out of room as far as where to put things. Um, I just, I'm just running out of room. Anyway, going back to the saw. Um, I, I picked this square tubing up um, from work. I buy it, we can buy it by the foot. What it is is old street signs, uh, signposts for like name and numbers and stuff like that. Uh, we sell it by the foot used or you can buy it new, however you wanna do it or you can buy even used street signs from us used uh, for $5 a piece if you want street signs for your garage or what have you, it, anyway. The post, I buy it by the foot, um, and it just works out pretty good because if I want to do anything else, all these little uh, pre-punches, you just take a hammer and a punch, and those knock right out just like that. Um, and then that's how we put the name and number on top of them with the drive rivet. Anyway, <laughs> going off subject so much, but um, testing the saw out. I have it, don't have a stand, so I have it just plugged in, sitting on the floor right there, and I got a couple blocks of wood back here to hold the end up, and um, we're gonna do our first cut on one of these to see how it goes, and then we'll bring the abrasive saw over and see how long it takes to cut one of those also. Well, after the first cut, that is a very, very quick and uh, fast cut. Uh, it goes pretty quick. Um, one thing that you do always want to have with that is some safety glasses, because it does throw chips um, a lot of places, as you can see right there. Uh, first cut with that went very, very fast, and as you see, it's just, you can lay your hand on it right away after you cut. Um, as far as going right to weld, I would say yes. There's just one small little burr that it left right there on that piece, but this piece is not the one that I need. I just was squaring this end up here to uh, get my measurements um, for my stand. I am gonna build my stand square to fit over there instead of having you know angled legs to go out. I do have this piece over, or that, uh, platform here that I can set my pieces on in the back side if I want or I may weld something to the bottom of the stand um, 
to basically bring a leg out to support long pieces like that right there. So uh, first cut was pretty good. Now I wanna grab the abrasive saw and cut and square uh, one of these ends up or just cut another piece off of that and see how it does. All right, now for the abrasive blade saw. You can see that right there? That's what's nice about the cold saw. If you're gonna buy a chop saw and you're thinking of cold or abrasive blade, uh, you saw how long it took to cut this piece versus how long it took to cut the other piece. Um, and also, uh, how this was hot, you couldn't touch it. But uh, yeah, that was... Uh, pretty quick as far as I'm concerned with the cold saw. There's one thing that I did forget to show you on this piece from the abrasive saw. This is what uh, you're left with. Now it did warp like that because of the heat and because of how small the piece it is. But I cut the same size piece with the cold saw and you can see there's no burrs and it did keep its shape. So that's another um, good indication on what you should buy as far as a cold saw versus a uh, abrasive blade saw. Put both those in my hand. This one here is a cold saw. This one here is the abrasive saw. Hands down, you know, whether you buy Evolution or whether you buy any other product, uh, you need to go with a cold saw, but um, my money's on the Evolution. There is one thing, and I'll show you. Um, this roll pin right here, and this is on my saw. This is just, you know, my saw in general. This roll pin is not placed quite right. Once you go down uh, where this lock is here, it does lock the saw down in place, so I'm just leaving it up there so it will come back up um, after I make my cuts. So right now, I've got my first piece set up for one of the legs. I'm gonna make them 36 inches plus the uh, four inches of my casters over there, so I make a 40 inch top, or you know, I make the height 40 inches, um, and then another two or three inches added for the deck surface of the cold saw itself. Right now I'm gonna get you set up and I'm gonna get all these pieces cut and then go from there. In just that short amount of time, as you can see, I've got all my pieces cut for uh, my stand. Um, now that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty quick turnaround time as far as from when I started to having all four legs cut and then my pieces in the center. Um, these will go here like this. And then the other one will sit on top of it just like that is there. So right now, I just I am gonna take, just because of my own anal retentiveness, I'll take a flappy wheel and I'll clean up all the edges to be to be welded. 
yeah, just uh, I just I'm amazed by how well of a product you know a cold saw is. I've never this is the first time I've ever used one. Um, very thankful to Evolution Tools um, for uh, sending this out to me. It is an awesome, awesome machine thus far. Uh, there's just a couple little corks, you know, that little tweaks that I think could be changed as far as um, you know with this this piece here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I loosen this up and get this out of the way, if I come down to make a cut, see how it locks? So I'm just basically taking and putting it on that edge and coming up just like that. That way I can come down and come back up. But that's just, you know, it's just a little quirk. It's not a big deal. Um, to me, it isn't a big deal. Uh, just because I can adjust and adapt to just about any circumstance um, there is. So, uh, and like I said in the last video, don't take one of these blades and put it in a, an abrasive blade saw. An abrasive blade saw spins so much faster, uh, more than double the speed of what this saw does. So, uh, don't be stupid, basically, is what it boils down to. So. Right now, I'll get everything put together and set up and welded up. And then uh, there's one more cut I wanna do with this saw. Um, well, actually, there's a bunch of cuts I wanna do with the saw, but there's one more in general that I'm curious on to see how well it does. Well, I got my stand pretty much made. Um, I don't really like the height of it. I'm going to take probably about four inches. All these top bars are just tacked in place right here. I'm um, gonna take probably, except for that one there, that's more than just tacked. Um, I'm gonna take, like I said, four inches, probably about four inches off, um, and then put these bars back in. Um, I don't know, I just don't like the height of it after setting the saw up there. It just wasn't, uh, it's just a little bit too tall. Um, as you can see, you know, it's hitting me about right here in my fat gut, so I just don't like, I got my tires tacked on there and like I said I did the all of them are locking I showed you that in the beginning but like I said there's one more cut that I want to make with this saw and for that I need to grab this pipe adapter and slide it on there what I have is right here I don't have a piece of solid but I have this is three inch pipe half inch wall. This side right here, you can see I cut this on the bandsaw at work um, a while back. You can see how clean that is. What I wanna do is put it on the cold saw and see how clean of a cut I can get on the other side. That's this side right here. I'm gonna cut this side off. And I wanna see how clean I can get on half inch wall, three inch pipe. So carry this over here. We'll just cut the thickness of this piece over here. Looks like that needs flipped around. Or adjust it up. That's this side here. That's the piece that I cut off of that. That's that side. 
and that's that side. You can see that the cold saw side is actually cleaner than what the bandsaw side is. Just a few burrs in here from the bandsaw and the cold saw is just so minute that I just flipped it off with my finger. And then on this scrap piece here that I cut off, you can see once it got down towards the end, it did leave just a little bit of burr on there. But uh, to me, that's pretty impressive right there. And there's the blade after cutting through that. Um, I'll recommend that saw to anybody, anytime. So if you're in the market to buy a chop saw, don't waste your money buying a chop saw. Go to Lowe's, um, Home Depot, someplace like that. Go to Amazon. Um, I don't know if it's available for Prime. Um, you can either pick this saw up or you can pick the Rage 2 up from Evolution Tools. Once again, in this video, I'll put a link below in the description and uh, you can go on there and check out all the tools they have. And if I can find, um, well, never mind. I know they have them at Amazon. Um, all you need to do is go to Amazon and search Evolution and it'll pop right up. I can put a link in the description below for those also. And until next time, I think that's pretty much all I have. So if you would, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you have not already done so. Become part of the family. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.